booktube i'm nicole and this is dusty booksniffers and today we are talking about the bread the devil need by lisa allen agostini so let's get started Everybody, no matter where you're watching from thank you for taking some time out of your day and spending it with me while I prattle on about the books that I have read so as I said today we are talking about the bread the devil need by Lisa Allen Agostini and this one is on the short list it was shortlisted for the 2022 women's prize for fiction list so over um, in my discord we are doing some group reads over there and we are actually reading each month we're reading one from the um, shortlist we've already read the winner which was uh, Ruth Ozeki's um, The Book of Form of Emptiness and this is the second one that we're going to read uh, that we've read and uh, basically this book was published in 2021 and um, it does have a few trigger warnings for people I will say that it has uh, a narrative about domestic violence and how brutal it can be and there's also some rape in there as well so um and gun violence so all the things that might trigger you are in this book it is a good book though i thoroughly enjoyed it now it has it's not a long book either it is 250 uh sorry 245 pages is the book so it's a pretty quick read it's very fast paced it moves along really really fast i was pretty happy with the pacing of it um now I did listen to this because I I ended up listening to it. I ended up I didn't have it on audio. Um, I had it on scribed um, as a uh, ebook, and I couldn't find the audio on scribe. It only had the ebook on there. I ended up purchasing um, the the audio book because I really struggled with the language in this. So the author is from Trinidad, Tobago. Let me just think. I think it's in the back here. Um, okay, so she... Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I didn't know that bit. Okay, so Lisa Allen Agostini is a writer, editor, and a stand-up comedian from Trinidad, Tobago. The uh, Bread the Devil Need is the first adult novel. Um, she has written two young adult novels, including Hi um, Home Home, um, winner of a Code Burt Award for Caribbean Young Adult Literature. She writes and performs stand-up comedy. That makes a lot of sense about her writing now. That does make a lot more sense about her writing. Now I get it. <laughs> I never read that. I didn't read that. I knew that she was, like, I knew that um, she was from Trinidad, Tobago, and I really could have held off um, reading this until I got to that for Read Around the World. So, um, yeah, but anyway, I... Um... <laughs> I probably should have read about the author. That it makes so much more sense now. Because when I was reading, when I started reading it, I was struggling because it's written in a way like, you know, when you you hear someone from Trinidad or to, Trinidad Tobago talk, they have that um, vernacular. Well, it's written like in that vernacular. So um, it was a little bit of a struggle to read. So I ended up um, getting the audiobook, which was read by her. So I got the true sense of the story from her and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now I only did, and I'm a little bit harsh with my rating, I think on um, anything that depicts domestic violence and all the rest of it. Um, I only gave it a three star rating but after I finished reading it it actually stayed with me so I've I've readjusted my rating to a four star rating because anything that I, I'd like to rate my books as soon as I've read them because I think that that is my true and honest feeling about the book but I in some cases will go back and redo my rate my star rating on Goodreads or my opinion and that's why I sort of wait for a couple of weeks before I do my review so I read this at the beginning of September. You're seeing this in October and I, you know, I filmed it last week. So basically, um, <coughs> excuse me, the, the reason that I wait a little while before I talk about books is because sometimes books will stay with you as you well know. And so this one sort of stuck with me a little bit and, um, 
I updated my star rating to a four star rating at the end of September. So, um, yeah, I did end up, I really did like this book. But as I said, I did struggle with the language in it because of the way that it was written. It was written in um, that way and it was a little bit difficult to read. So, as I said, I got the audio and she did a fabulous job reading this because it just came across. And so... Now that I've just done that, like looked at where she, that she's a comedian, it makes much more sense about um, her writing style. And because I find comedians write that this sort of way. So anyway, it is following the story um, of uh, Althea uh, Lopez, and she's about to turn forty, and she is in an abusive relationship. And a situation happens out. She works in a clothing store, and she goes to work all the time, and um, She's been with this man for quite some time. She also had an abusive childhood. Um, there was some sexual assault mentioned in this as well, sexual abuse and um, child neglect and stuff like that. So there is some trigger stuff in this. In a short book, she's put a lot in. And that's what I mean. Like, if you remember my, um, <coughs> excuse me, remember my review on A, a Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara, I was quite frustrated with that because there was just so much stuff that didn't really need to be in there. Like this woman has written a very impactful story, um, in my opinion, an impactful story and may, you know, that has stayed with me long after in 245 pages. So you can word things and get a story across when you're talking about abuse without having to have all of the stuff like Little Life had. <clears throat> and that's what I found frustrating because I have read many books that have had that this sort of content in it and there have been short books like this for me this is classed as a short story too because like I read a lot of big books so you know 245 um, pages is a walk in the park really when you're reading pages in 900 and thousand pages yada 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 I mean let's and you know oh, epic series and stuff like that so anyway it's following um, Alethea's, um, I think that's how you pronounce it, Alethea? Yeah, A-L-E-T-H-E-A. -E -E so Alethea. Um, yeah, so she is working in a, a shop. Um, she is having an affair with her boss. Um, she's in an abusive relationship, so understandably he's treating her nicely, so she's obviously gravitating towards that. Um, she's got a few friends. She doesn't really have much of a life outside of work and home. And an incident happens outside the shop where a woman is gunned down by her partner. Her partner is subsequently shot by the police. But it, it was so close to home for her and she starts to realise she already knew this about herself, that she was in an abusive relationship, but she things start to play out where she ends up... Um, bettering herself you know there's a series of events I don't want to go into too much detail um about it because I think you really should pick it if you haven't already read this you really need to pick it up and give it a read because it is a great book it will keep you engrossed the pacing's really good um there's some characters in there that you're going to hate with a passion and then there's others that you love you, you love at the same time you know like you love to hate them um so basically um well, not even really love to hate. Like they're they're a little bit questionable, but they have her interests at heart and and whatnot. So it is it it does it does have um you know like I said gun violence and it has some moments in it where you just go oh really that's bad like really bad <laughs> like as I said you not a long book but a very impactful book so that is my thoughts I'm not going to give too I can't talk about it without giving too much away I'm sorry but I have changed my rating to a four star rating it's a fast paced book it is a good book it does have some trigger warnings um and um, over the next couple of months, you will see a few more of these shortlisted books coming up because we're doing them as group reads each month. So I can't remember the next one um, that's coming up. I think I think it is this one that I've got coming up, The Island of Missing Trees by um, Alif Sherfak. That sounds like a swear word. 
<laughs> but anyway, that is the next one. Or maybe it's Sorrow and Bliss. I don't know. But we've got a couple coming up. Um, so keep an eye out for those. But that is The Bread the Devil Need by Lisa Allen Agostini. You pick it up, give it a read. You'll thoroughly enjoy it, as I did. Um, but I do recommend that you listen to the audio book as well as read along with it. And I ended up purchasing this because um, I'm putting it on my daughter's bookshelf. So I, um, I read along with it. And I got it on, I also, I purchased it through Kindle, um, through my Kindle um, shop because it was cheaper to get the audio book that way. It ended up being about 3 or $4 cheaper. So, yeah, that, that's an option as well. Um, or alternatively, get it from your library and whatnot. So, but good book. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Glad I read it. Glad I decided to, to make it a group read. But that's it for me today. If you haven't already liked this video, maybe hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. And um, I will see you all again in the next video. Bye for now.